What's up guys? I've been a little busy lately. I've been sick. We've been doing some remodeling at home, but that forced me away from my alts. Uh, and I was kind of afraid that I was going to come back to like profits that were completely gone. Now, obviously, we always expect profits to go down, but as it turns out, um, you can still set up characters right now in like two, a day or two and make a nice profit with concentration alts still. So I'm going to show you the best builds, the three best builds. Um, and sort of what you can expect from, from this profit-wise right now. Uh, spoiler alert, two characters, two alts with us um, with picking from two of these professions that I'm going to suggest. Um, you can make a, to a token in profit in a month. Two characters, two level 70s. Uh, and now that you have the, the experience buff uh, coming in with the anniversary event, now's the time to set a couple more up. Um, so, the first thing, there's a lot of concentration builds that just don't require that much knowledge. Um, so, as an example, for the the enchanting one, you just need this. I mean, this 40 is actually the ones that I use for the, the best craft for this one right now. And obviously you do this first for just more knowledge. So you can get there with uh, with just the, the first craft bonuses and just flying around and you're ready to go um, with... with all of well with two of these there's one build that requires a little bit more um it's also the most um consistent one long term um but yeah this is um it's pretty good um so there's nothing nothing major you need you don't need to do the acuity shuffle you don't need to have farmed any specific amount of rep uh, but it does help because there are some uh, recipes that you can get um, that are a little bit harder to get and that's going to help increase your profits and um, there are knowledge books you can get from from the reputations if you've done them which obviously is going to help um, but it's not necessary so the first one we're looking at enchanting no surprise there this is one of uh, the more consistent ones um, now my my favorite recipe is the cursed critical strike or whatever other of the three uh, cursed ones that you can buy on the auction house. So cursed haste, you learn this um, from the trainer. So this one is a lot cheaper, but usually. But cursed crit, uh, or cursed mastery, or cursed versatility, all three of those, uh, the recipes are on the auction house, and they're usually pretty cheap. Like I was getting my cursed critical strike for um, recipe for like two thousand gold, uh, which is nothing. We can see here cursed mastery, two thousand gold. Quality three ones are selling for eight thousand. Like you can do one concentration craft, and you've made back the recipe cost. Very very good. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I like with engineer with enchanting. We can see that the concentration value is still eleven gold for this recipe. Really really good for for this point of the expansion. Um, so yeah, just grab enchanting. Put fifteen points here. Do all of the first crafts, put 30 points here, put some points here, uh, buy one of the cursed recipes on the auction house and get crafting. Um, that's it. Now the next one I wanted to cover uh, is inscription, which is also quite easy to set up. There are a couple of recipes, like contracts have been good, but uh, not so good today um, for me. But we do have the other top, uh, top choice for this profession is the Vantus Rune. Which you can see here has a seven seven gold fifty silver um, profit uh, per concentration. That's pretty good. That's uh, very good, in fact. Um, so this one we're gonna be happy with eight gold uh, eight gold per concentration. That's sort of not quite as good as enchanting, but it's on the the higher end of what you can typically see these days. Uh, Vantus rune recipe is super easy to obtain as well. Um, so yeah, just get into to that. The build is. Once again, nothing crazy. I put 60 points here. I'm not sure exactly how many points you would need to put into this node. And then obviously you start going here for multi-craft bonuses and resourcefulness and ingenuity bonuses to further increase your, your profits. Um, and that's sort of the build. Now, Inscription does scale quite well with more knowledge due to the fact that you can get like uh, a lot of extra stats from the Pursuit of Knowledge tree, which is going to increase your profits. Uh, but it doesn't make or break your profits. Uh, so it's just like, yeah, it's nice. You have something to aspire to and get more value out of. Uh, but you're still going to be profitable. As long as you can do this with quality two inks, you're going to be making a nice profit. Um, 
by um, by concentrating here because the quality three ones are still selling for for a very significant sum. Then we have the last recipe uh, or the last profession that uh, I think is really good. This one is uh, the best one right now. Harmonious horticulture is the best craft uh, I can find with thirteen gold per concentration. Now uh, we're talking about alchemy. Now the two best recipes typically here, Flask of Alchemical Chaos and Harmonious Horticulture have really high recipe difficulties. Uh, so, that, so that means you do need a lot of points. Um, you do need a, a significant amount of, of skill from the skill trees. Um, you can see here I have a, a quite a, a lot. I have 110 points here. I have another 40 points here. Um, now I am behind, like there's definitely a lot more knowledge available. I've been slacking on all of my characters. This is the one I've been slacking the least on. Um, so alchemy is a little more on the heavy side in terms of what it requires in, uh, in the knowledge. You do need to put in some more effort to get it up to speed and to keep it up to speed. Um, but uh, it is very, that also is going to keep the, the profits really consistent and high, which is nice. Uh, now, if you look at the results here, if you had uh, almost any combination of these, you'd be making somewhere between 18 and 25 uh, gold per concentration in total. Um, you get about 10 concentration per hour. Um, so that would mean that you're making about 4,000 4, to 6,000 gold profit per 24 hours um, for any character that has uh, two of these professions. Uh, if you have two of these, you're going to make a token a month. Um, that's going to be 10,000 gold per day, uh, or 8, 9, 9, 10,000 gold per day. Um, the token is 274k, so that's going to be enough uh, on EU. Um, so yeah, this is still works. Uh, in fact, the, the profits haven't changed much lately. I was surprised. I, they had been trending down for a while, but the concentration seems to have sort of stabilized for a lot of the higher value crafts at least now for some crafts that are like the market is getting flooded with all the tailors um with the contracts that are just getting less and less valuable as people finish their rep grinds um for those types of items the prices have gone down and concentration is really low value but for the few items that are just always strong best in slot and chance that have annoying to get recipes or are not easily available recipes um, and the flasks and horticulture and stuff like that the concentration value is still pretty high um, so take advantage of that focus on those crafts set up a couple of alts take advantage of the incoming leveling buff um, and you can play the game for free